Hi guys, I am Shahzad from Shakzi.com and uh, welcome in KNIM series. Today we are going to discuss about the support vector machines. We can use the support vector machines for the classifications and the regressions analysis for the classifications and the regressions problems. So you know very well that uh, this is not the data science series. We are just using the tools we are creating or we are designing the models by using uh, the tool which is a canine so this series is sponsored by digital sword digital sword is providing the digital marketing services and also the web development and web designing and graphic designing services so we have created uh, the several models like uh, probabilistic neural network decision tree and also the multi-layer perceptrons we have discussed about the uh, supervised and supervised learning and also the linear regressions in our previous lectures. Okay, now uh, I'm going to create a new workflow which is the support vector machines. I'm saying SVM which is the support vector machines. Okay, now finish this one. Now I need the data set. So I have my own data set. I have created the data set so now i'm saying this is the reader the node is the reader because i'm reading the data from the csv format because i have the data in the csv format if you have the data in the uh, file format line format table format so definitely you have to use the same norm okay now right click configure i'm reading the data from the computer so this uh, so I have the results, I have the unsupervised learning. So this is the data I'm using. Ha has row header, so I don't have, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, has the row header for apply, okay. Right click, execute, right click, tables, file table. So I have, this is the target columns or the class column. So these are the continuous variables because we have the integer values here. Okay, now we need uh, the partitions. So we have to split our data into two formats, uh, training and testing. So I'm saying, giving this note to this, right click, configurations. I'm saying relative, I'm saying 80%. We are using the same pattern. Okay, now that means uh, I'm saying 80% for the training and 20% for the testing. You can also click on the stratified sampling or the linear sampling take from top draw randomly so it's totally depend upon your requirement so i'm not teaching you here the stratified sampling or the linear sampling okay now apply okay right click execute this one so you also need two nodes svm so learner and also the predictor now 80 percent for the learner 20 percent for the predictor and assign your model here this one okay now right click configurations so now the target column is the cluster so as you can see i have the cluster overlapping penalty 1.0 we have 1.0 gamma power so these are the by default values you can also create the hyper tangents or click on this one so fine fine so now right click configurations so predict predictions cluster so apply okay so now execute this one it takes time to execute your data as you can see 63 percent they're showing you 63 person because uh i have the 32 32 gb ram and 2 gb graphic card okay now as you can see you have successfully executed the learner and also the predictor now you need the scorer to judge your model to view the Scorer. Scorer. So now I'm just click on the 
configurations so cluster prediction cluster fine apply okay right click execute this one right click confusion matrix so now as you can see support vector machines is giving you the 100 percent accuracy with the same data uh, we have the same data while working on the probabilistic neural network it's giving you the 95 95 percent accuracy so now as you can see giving you the 95 percent accuracy and we are using the same data in the multi-layer perceptron so now as you can see it's giving you the 35 percent accuracy that means for probabilistic neural network is better performing than the multi-layer perceptron and we also have the same data when we was when we were working on the decision tree, so right click so as you can see confusion matrix 95 percent accuracy but support vector machine is providing uh, the better performance as compared to probabilistic neural network decision tree multi-layer perceptron and also we have used the, the no okay now we have used a different data in the while working on the linear regression okay so support vector machines is giving you the 100 percent accuracy wrong prediction is zero correct classifications 20 so error is a zero person because 100 percent you are gaining 100 percent accuracy so now in this way you can create or you can uh, use the svm support factor machine to predict your classifications or regressions problem so i hope you are enjoying this series if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos so don't forget to click on the subscribe button and thank you for watching